greetings. In this video I'm going to cover permission groups and how to create and manage them. Permission groups are the primary way that permissions are granted in the Go Launch system. Permission groups can be used to give moderator access to a specific forum, to give access to a private forum, to provide specific access to any or all of the tabs in the admin area, as well as to provide content level permissions, such as the ability to admin the forward facing portion of Rapid Rate that doesn't include the admin section. In addition, you can give users specific customization rights, such as the ability to edit pages, edit widgets, and change templates. All of those permissions can be granted separately to any number of groups with any number of users from 0 to 100. In this video, I'm going to specifically cover how to grant access to a private forum to a group, as well as show how to set some of the most commonly uh, granted permissions. The first step for any of this is to create a permission group. And this is done by clicking on the Create and Modify Groups link on the left. The next page shows that I have one group already created called the Officer Group but I would like to create a new group for my private forum. And I'm going to call this private forum users. Now that the forum is here, I have to choose who's a member of this group. So I'll click modify and I'll pick the one member that I have, GL Mike, and add him to the group. Now we've returned to the permission group page and you can see that GL Mike is now a group member. The next decision is which of the private forums I'm going to grant him access to. If I click modify, I see all of my forums in the UI at the bottom on the left. And then I see, under simple permissions, a drop down for each private forum. If the pri forum is not private, a drop down does not appear. In this case, I'm going to set allowed access for the private forum and click submit. Now when we return to the permission group view, we will see that GL Mike is a member of this group and he has view permissions for the private forum. That same UI could be used to give that user moderation privileges to any of the other forums. At this point, we now have a private forum set up and a user who can access it. We can add additional users to that group to provide additional access to the private forum. If you need help on, cr on creating the forum and setting it up to be private, please view the other video that covers private forum creation. Now we're going to go on and set some basic permissions. Often one of the things that people want to be able to do is to delegate accepting and denying applications. If we wanted the private forum users to be able to do this, we would simply click the checkbox on the recruiting rights row. The, the checkbox will change into a colored checkmark to indicate that permission has been granted to this group, and then simply clicking it again will remove it. So, if we wanted to give our officers a, a great deal of rights, we can just click down here and you will see the privileges granted. Another option that's common is letting users admin polls. You can do that by going to the content area permissions and clicking the checkbox for polls. This would allow a user to create polls and to uh, set them up, to, to add options, and pretty much do anything related to polls. In addition, users will often let other users admin widgets. And this is considered a customization permission here at the bottom. And checking that would give them widget customization rights. And again, if you'd like to take something away, simply click the check mark and it turns back into an unchecked checkbox. So that covers the basics of permissions, and we hope you enjoy it. And if you have any questions, visit our support forums, or you can contact us at support at guildlaunch.com. Enjoy.